companies can tap onto the new Jurong port tank terminal to reduce cost and increase efficiency. The facility is a joint venture between Jurong port and German tank operator oil tanking. Senior Minister of State for Trade and Industry, Chi Hong Tat, says that the JPTT is an integral part of Jurong port's transformation. JPTT has been designed with a direct pipeline connection to Jurong Island's petroleum and petrochemical network. This allows products to flow seamlessly between companies on Jurong Island, storage tanks at JPTT and ships berthed at the terminal. And through this process, companies can enjoy up to 30% savings in transportation and handling costs with a pipeline connection as they no longer need to charter vessels when transferring products from Jurong Island to Jurong Port. The terminal's first phase of development occupies about 12 hectares. It can store about 252,000 cubic meters of clean petroleum. PetroChina has already signed on as its anchor tenant, taking up the entire first phase. Phase two is expected to add more than 300,000 cubic meters when completed. The facility taps on the network of over 100 refineries and chemical manufacturers on Jurong Island. Using larger capacity pumps, ship loading and unloading is up uh, to 50% faster, reducing a ship's port stay. Jurong Port says this port-centric ecosystem can also benefit other industries. Port transit ecosystems uh, can apply across the board for any supply chain that we serve uh, across industries. So uh, we are looking uh, to uh, create port centric ecosystems for the construction industry uh, where we can co locate the handling of aggregates, cement, and steel to enable uh, for uh, prefabricated, prefinished volumetric construction units to be uh, uh, produced here at Jurong Port.